Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Scadia.com. Now today we're discussing the absolute basics of enzymes, just to lay the foundation for the grand building of enzymes. Now in this video, we're talking about what enzymes are, the importance of their role in our bodies, a general idea of specificity, and classification of enzymes. Now to start with, let's answer the question, what are enzymes? Enzymes are otherwise known as biological catalysts, which basically means they are biologically originated substances that play a role in accelerating chemical reactions in the body. Within the body, there are countless metabolic processes taking place, and enzymes play the most vital role in making sure the processes occur as genetically planned. In other words, the enzymes are what allow the coordinated sequences of reactions to take place. Now, we can say that virtually all reactions in the body are mediated by enzymes, which are protein catalysts, usually occurring within cells, and they increase the rate of reactions without being changed themselves in the overall process. Talking about enzymatic activity, which is the catalytic action of an enzyme, basically referring to its activity, is measured by determining the increase in the reaction rate under precisely defined conditions. In simpler terms, this is the difference between the turnover of the catalyzed reaction and uncatalyzed reaction in a specific time. The unit used for enzymes is usually turnover per unit time, expressed in catal or cat mole per second. Now, enzyme units are expressed as micromole substrate converted per minute, umol turnover per minute, and 1u is equal to 16.7 n cat. Reaction and substrate specificity, which is really important to understand, is basically that the action of enzymes is usually very specific. This applies not only to the type of reaction being catalyzed, being reaction specificity, but also the nature of the reactants, which are the substrates that are involved in the reactions. This can more easily be understood by imagining the enzyme being a circle with a triangular shape cut out, similar to a pizza with a slice removed. Now, the enzyme is specific in the same sense that the substrate must be the exact same size as the missing piece, so it becomes a perfect fit, making the enzyme specific to the substrate demanding absolute precision. Now, a rectangular or a circular shaped substrate will not be able to fit into the active site, and a reaction would not be carried out if a different shape tried to enter the active site. So this was a basic introduction to the enzymes. Keep watching because in the next section, we're talking about enzyme classification.